so one of the questions we often hear is, you know, when we're talking to someone is they're like, wow, this is all great, but we have to be super data ready to be able to move into the, to move into this consideration. And the reality is, is regardless of whether we're talking to, um, you know, a, an organization that is very mature and or has many resources or has been investing in GIS for years or, 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 an, or an organization that's just at the very beginning of considering doing that. There is no wrong time. In fact, right now is always the right time. And um, that sounds maybe a little a little bit like a pitch, but from a practical standpoint, we've found that to actually be reality. And so maybe that's something that we can talk about both from a second nature and an Esri perspective. Well, I think from uh, from the get go, when you if you have assets out in the field take that first step, right? Is what you're saying, Jason, is like, we need to start the process of plan, do, check, adjust. And and it really just starts with with getting data ready. And, and I think sometimes really we can, we can be almost analysis paralysis or afraid of that beginning step of just saying, hey, let me get my assets under management and understand what I have. And as we talk about sometimes, you know, there's no such thing as bad news because now we have a baseline. And then when we have that baseline, we have our assets under management, we can start to say, okay, now what is what do we look like as far as, as that delta and how do we get there? And I think a lot of customers do thrash out, thrash about about that because um, you know, it's kind of like starting a running program. How do you start? You just go, right? <laughs> like there's there's and it, it certainly isn't easy, but as you go, you get better, right? And that that seems to be what what um we're not letting perfect get in the way of better when we look at those initial steps. And I think that's a lot of the things that when we come together as Second Nature and Esri is that, hey, let's get that that initial step. You're not alone. There's scaffolding and infrastructure that Second Nature has for you to really have that data put into a space and place and start to build that up. But I, th- I quickly get out of my my skill set, skill set Michelle, and, and enter yours, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you, Francis. I mean, Michelle, how many how many times do we talk to a prospective uh, customer that's kind of looking at their program, looking at their data? Data is often the place where these conversations start, right? Because mm-hmm. data is the foundation for everything that we're talking about. How often are our customers ready when we when when we start working with them, or is their data ready? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's something that is said in almost every customer conversation I have, especially talking with new prospective clients, they're saying, oh, I would love to use GIS or Second Nature, but my data is just not ready. Um, And yeah, I think our response to that is data is never really ready. I mean, technology changes, regulatory requirements change. um, You just kind of have to, like you said, Francis, hit the ground, just start running, like use (laughs) something to start you know inventorying your assets whatever it might be if you don't have it in gis and then the tools that we have in place in second nature and gis um increase the the data integrity like your slide is saying here jason once we have that baseline then we can continue to iterate on the quality quality of the data we can decide what is important um, to collect so yeah i mean I, i would argue that data is never fully ready to be used and it's just such an iterative process of, of collecting and, and inquiring. 